The M train runs at around 9 trains per hour at the most. The Queen's Blue R line is part of the reason why capacity is limited. Forest Hills can only turn around 20 trains per hour, which is split with the R train. In the merging conflicts, the Queen's Plaza also eat in capacity. These merging conflicts will be eliminated with the F and M swap that is set to happen later this year. But today, I want to move south and talk about the two choke points on the other end of the route, Williamsburg Bridge and Myrtle Junction. The Williamsburg Bridge can only handle 24 trains per hour because of great timers. J and Z trains combined run at 12 trains per hour, so there is 12 trains per hour capacity to spare for the M. But why doesn't the M run that frequently? Well, Myrtle Junction, which is an at-grade junction where middle village-bound M trains have to cross the express tracks and the Manhattan-bound local tracks to get onto the Myrtle Avenue line. This means if a Jamaica-bound J or Z train and a middle village-bound M train arrive at Myrtle Avenue Broadway at the same time, one of them will have to wait for the other one to leave first, causing delays. This at-grade junction limits M trains' capacity to below 10 trains per hour. So how can we increase capacity on the M train? Well, in the short term, do fumigation reform so Forest Hills can turn trains around faster. Do the F and M swap and short turn some M trains at 2nd Avenue in Lower Manhattan. This can get you around 10 to 12 M trains per hour, with 2 to 4 of them short turning at 2nd Avenue. But in the long term, I see Great Separating Myrtle Junction as a solution. To do so, I would use the Bench Nicaraguan plan. Reopen the upper level at Myrtle Broadway for middle village bound M trains. Build a wide duck along Levis Avenue and then turn on to Myrtle Avenue to connect with the upper level. With a grid separated Myrtle Junction, short turning at 2nd Avenue is no longer needed, and around 12 to 13 trains per hour can run the full M route. Oh, and I have yet to mention Queenslink, which has the added benefit of increasing capacity on the QBR local track west of 63rd Drive to 30 trains per hour. To me, Queenslink is a more priority than Great Separating Myrtle. You can probably get away with shortening M trains and 2nd Avenue now, but as more capacity is needed in Williamsburg and Bushwick, Great Separating Myrtles so more M trains can run across the Williamsburg Bridge might be the way to go. If you want to learn about FM swap, check out this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in that video.